Hey guys, I'm Silverwolf and I wanted to show you my finished plushies with the embroidered eyes and noses. Uh, unfortunately the lighting isn't very good, I'm doing it in the evening because these guys are going to be posted first thing tomorrow morning. So that's why I'm just filming them on the sofa. So as you can see, the embroidery came out well. There's the eye, the nose. So it looks pretty good and I'm happy with them. I've also given them little pleather paw pads as well. I find the pleather sticks a bit better than some other um, like felt and stuff like that and it also looks quite nice because cats have sort of leathery toe beans so that's why I chose to do those. And these ones uh, are poseable so you can see this guy stood and this one is sitting or lying and they can be standing, sitting or lying down and I have made them in such a way so that one pattern basically does loads of different poses. So uh, in order to get that to work, um, I stuffed the heads as normal. I um, put plastic pellets in the feet to weight them down. I sort of semi-firmly stuffed the legs, softly stuffed the bodies, and then more firmly stuffed the necks so that they hold, hold the heads up. The head pattern is by another artist called Choli Knight. You can find them on Etsy. They do some nice patterns for plushies and things. And this is their wild cat plush uh, pattern, wild cats and kittens. And the body pattern is my own. Um, so consequently, the heads are kind of big because the the heads were actually the the cats are kind of chibi style. Um, so they are a little bit big on my bodies but it still works I think but the thing is you've got to be careful because if you make the heads too big of course they're too heavy and then they won't stand up but luckily these guys stand and sit and I think that they are better than the snow leopards that I bit, I did for the same client um, she wanted a couple of snow leopards and these are the leopards that I'm, I've done for her um, because the snow leopards didn't have the embroidered eyes so now my plushies that I do with eyes like this they will be embroidered and I can also embroider paw pads, but I didn't for these guys. I just decided to go with the the pleather ones. Um, I've learnt quite a bit about embroidery. So um, I found that if I use the little netting thing on my upper thread spool, um, it gives it some tension, as opposed to when I, when I wasn't doing it yesterday, the thread was way too loose because it was just coming off the spool and it was just it was just way too loose so that worked better today I think I need to increase the tension on the bobbin because you can see it a little bit just very slightly on the front coming through the front of the nose there and you could on the eyes as well but I've actually shaded them in so you can't see that on them um, so I could yeah I, I need to sort out perhaps the tension on those I think the tension on the upper thread is fine now. Like I said, this is all so new to me. I've used a sewing machine a few times in my life, but I've never done anything like this. So it's all entirely new to me. Um, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I will do more plushies like this. I mean, these are the first in a hopefully long line of of different plushies. The only bad things about embroidery is that you've got to cut a square of minky um, that's bigger than the pattern piece and bigger, slightly bigger than a hoop so you kind of waste more minky than, than when I just draw the pattern pieces out on the minky itself so I waste more but you can actually get around that by just um, cutting your pattern piece and doing like um, like a stitch around it onto the um the material <laughs> it's late and I don't know words um but yeah if, if you do a, a stitch on on it to the um the sort of the binding material that you put on the bottom and um, it will hold it in place and then I use masking tape on the water soluble stuff on the top um which also holds it in place and I think I think I might get some of that temporary adhesive as well to sort of make it more sturdy. So I will experiment with these things and see how I do. But to, to be perfectly fair, for my first try, I think these came out very well, despite the frayed thread and the the thread knotting up underneath them and doing things that it shouldn't be doing. 
Um, I think that they have come out well. I only wasted a small eye that was that was just too small, and one of the other eyes I was in the middle of it, and it just didn't it didn't work because it all knotted up underneath, and I don't know why. Um, but I will probably find out more about the behaviours of an embroidering machine. Anyway, I rambled rambled on long enough. Um, so I'm going to get these guys ready to be sent out tomorrow, and hopefully this is the first of many slightly more professional plushies that I can now do embroider. It should open up a whole new sort of avenue for me as well. So if you want to see more videos, including how I did the eyes, they're coming up in the boxes below. Um, you can check out my Etsy and New Monday stores. I'm currently running a plush sale to get rid of old stock, so if you want to check that out, um, I'm also, if you've made it to the end of the video, I am trying to pay off the cost of the embroidery machine through my commissions. Um, I'm mm, nearly halfway to paying it off, but I could always do with a few more if anyone's interested. Or you can give me a tip on Kofi, because that will all go towards as well. Any money I make basically uh, before the beginning of June, when my credit card has to be paid off, I will be putting towards the embroidery machine. Um, so it all helps towards that. So that's all for this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep being awesome. This is Silver Wolf signing off.